Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. It has been a while and I apologize for that. It has been a crazy few months. I've had a lot on my plate and I've had to move and that moving process was just insane. And I'm not gonna lie, I did attempt to do this video already and for some reason it ended up being like 20 minutes long and I was like, there's just no way someone's gonna sit down and watch me talk for 20 minutes. So I decided not to finish editing and just redo this video over again and I was having a bad hair day as well So I just wasn't very happy with my work So here I am redoing this video and I hope it comes out way shorter to it guys today's video is going to be about skincare and the new routine that I incorporated in the last few months if you remember my last skincare video it was um I had just started using the products of well I had finished using the products of Mario Badescu and I had used it for a few months and I was able to share with you guys my results and what I thought Everything went amazing, but I did decide to change my routine a little bit because I did want to try other new products. So I did want to incorporate a new vitamin C serum in my routine because the Mario Badescu one was amazing. It took out all my heat bumps and it, just, it was great, but it did make my face a little bit dry. And I did want something to make it feel more like, not dewy dewy, but like, you know, more refreshed, more, you can tell your face is, you know, you got a healthy face. So that's kind of what I wanted and I did my research online, whatever. I saw a lot of product reviews, videos, and then I came across the Ula Hendrickson, 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 Ula Hendrickson um, line of products and I decided to give it a try. So their products can be a little bit pricey so I decided to buy a travel size, like a small little pack that brought three things because you know if it's small and if you don't end up liking it. At least it's small, so you don't waste that much money on it. And I believe this was like 40 something dollars. And I think I got it in Sephora. I'm pull up a picture so you guys can see the pack. It brings the banana bright eye cream, which I did not use. And I had to admit because my lashes, I feel like if I put something oily in the bottom, my false lashes are just gonna be like falling off faster. And I don't want that to happen, so I did not use this product. So I am not gonna be speaking about this one bring it out and then I did use the Ole Hendrickson Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream you guys can see it there and as you see it is very much empty that does not mean I liked it but it means that I used it and it was I and then I have here the Truth Serum Collagen Boosted with True C Complex Boost uh, yeah, it says the same thing, just in a, another language or something. Here it is. And as you see, it is very empty as well. But then again, not because I extremely liked it. It's because it was travel size and I was like, might as well just finish the whole thing. And I did. So, let's talk first about the brightening cream. So, <laughs> funny story. When I first read about this cream, um, there was someone I came across on YouTube, she was giving a product review, and she was like, she was just saying how much she loved this cream and how she would put it on in the morning, and her face just felt like super nice and dewy the whole day. Well, what does Jennifer do? It smells really good too, it smells like oranges. So I put this cream on before going to work, and let me tell you, I was a ball of grease the entire day. That was the last time I wore this cream during the day. It was just way too dewy for my taste. I mean, I do have, I feel like I have a dry face, but is that, I don't even like, to, I don't like it for it to feel super oily. Like, I just want it to look natural, like normal, like not dry that you can see like scabs everywhere, but not super oily either that it looks like you just finished a workout. You know what I mean? So definitely did not do that again. Um, I am going to read to you guys what this product has and then I'll go into how I used it 
and all that good stuff. So let's see what this product has. Rush gel brightening cream. Yes, it is. Okay, so on their website, it says it delivers 24 hour hydration, brightened, firmed, and targets fine lines and wrinkles. Experience a 24 hour rush of moisture you can see with a C. If you get it. Um, let me see. Brightened, firm, targets fine lines, ingredients. Okay. So if you look at the ingredient line, I mean the ingredient um, list, there's a whole lot in there that I don't know what it is, I don't know what it means, and I'm really not a fan of products that have so much like chemicals and some stuff. I did learn or read somewhere that if you cannot pronounce something on your ingredient list, and this comes for like food as well, then it's probably not good. So... Doesn't mean a skincare is the same thing, but I don't know. Like, I really want to know what the heck this hydroxy cetaphone. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I just cannot pronounce it. So, <laughs> not good. Okay. It also says three sources of vitamin C and rows of winter extract, rich in antioxidants to help nourish and condition skin. It does, it does moisturize, okay? So, let's just. It's just, I'm just going to leave it there. It does moisturize. Okay, so now the vitamin C serum. Um, let's see what this one has. This one, uh, honestly, I if when I tried the, mo the moisturizer during the day and I didn't like it, I was scared to try this one during the day, so I did not try it during the day. I just used it at night. I used both of these at night only. Once a day. So let me show you guys what this one has. So it says Ole Ula Fudge. Why do I always say Ole, man? That's another thing about the video I previously um recorded. The whole entire video is like Ole, Ole. It's Ula Henriksen. Truth Serum is like a daily multivitamin for the skin and our number one age defined and vitamin C serum, face serum. Oula was an early adopter of vitamin C in skincare, believing that its antioxidant properties and role in promoting collagen make it a crucial ingredient. The potent, this potent True C complex and collagen serum helps brighten and firm the skin as it delivers all day hydration. Well, I really can't prove that because I didn't like. I mean, I had it on a night, but I'll get there. I'll, I'll explain it now. So it brightens, firms, fights visible signs of aging, all day hydration. Ingredients, once again, long list, a little bit shorter than the moisturizer, but still long. And it says it has true C complex, which means stabilize vitamin C um, formulated to help brighten the skin and fight visible signs of aging. Collagen helps improve skin youthful elasticity. Orange and green tea extracts helps nourish skin. Ole, a low juice helps soften and condition skin. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, so this is how I decided to incorporate these into my skincare routine. So when I would shower, my normal cleanser, I stay with the Mario Badescu one. I did not try an Ula one. So what I did is that before bed, I would first put this true serum. Then I would blow dry it or like put my face on the fan and just like let it sink into my skin. And then I would go in and I will put the moisturizer on top. Two to three times a week, I would do, actually, yeah, maybe two to three times a week, I would do the micro, is it microblading? Microblading. The little roller, microblading, I think it's microblading. I haven't spoken about skincare in a while, bear with me guys. Microblading. Microblading? Micro, -ne micro needling. Micro needling. Whatever. This little thing right here. So I would do it across my face, da -da -da, da -da -da -da, side, 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 and then I would go in with the true serum and I would, you know, massage it into my face and then the same thing. I'll let it sink in and then I'll put the moisturizer on top. So then, all done, go to bed, boom. The next morning my face was a ball of grease, so I was not going to walk out the door with that ball of grease on my face, so of course I would wash it. And just like normal washes, throw some water and you just, just like rinse it off. So not really like going with another cleanser and wash it off. No, just rinse it off. And that's it. Done. Go on with my day. My face did feel moisturized. So that is very important. It did feel very soft. 
I can actually say it felt like just like nice healthy skin. It did feel very nice, but it did not fully get rid of my heat bumps or like make them sink in and sort of disappear. I feel like it's just the texture of like the moisture. When that touches my skin, like I feel like everything, all the bumps just like come out more for some reason. And that's annoying, so I really don't like that part of it. But it did feel moisturized. So if you do not work out, I think heat bumps come from working out or something. If you do not work out, you do not have blackheads, that much pimples, little bumps here and there, there's no bumps in your face, and you just want moisture, A, by all means, these are the products for you. You like that face to look dewy? These are the products for you. Also, I do have to mention, I did, I love watching YouTube videos from, from beauty gurus, that's my guilty pleasure. And I did see, um, I don't remember which one was, I think it was probably Alosara or something, saying that she uses this cream to moisturize before putting on her makeup. What did Jennifer do? I tried that and my face was a ball of grease. I felt like my makeup was gliding off. So that did not work for me. Maybe it depends on the skin type and what you like. Maybe I didn't set it right with a lot, a lot of powder, but I really, really didn't like it. So that was a one-time thing. I did not try using this under my makeup again. Not even a little bit. It does say like a little goes a long way, but even then, it's just too much for me. Just too much. All right, so now I covered what the products had. What I like, what I didn't like, um, what else did I cover, how I used them. So now let me share with you guys a few pictures of before I started using it and after and during and all that good stuff. Hope this video is still short. Oh, 15 minutes, but I can count. My battery's about to die. It's okay, I got this. Okay, so I think I started using it around September. So this is my face in September, not so bad, a few bumps here and there. Okay, so then here is my face, I think, I believe this is the morning after when I went to the gym. As you see, there's a lot of like shine, you know, it looks like it's moisturized. I believe this was before my workout, so I, it was not after or during my workout or whatever. I mean, this, yeah, this was before. Yeah, I can tell my time. This was before, so you see it is, it looks hydrated, you know what I mean? Um, so this is at night before bed, you see the little bumps. This is the next morning, you see, you still see a little bit bumps, some few bumps there, so they don't really completely go away. Um, this was my face before I started to work out the next morning. You see a few bumps here and there at night. Here you see, you see, uh, here's my forehead, a few bumps, but the skin does look hydrated. So if you're looking for hydration, it is a good option. And then this day, this was already, I think, I believe a month in, in October, I'm not gonna lie, that, that looks very nice, that looks, the skin looks very nice. But you know, we're all humans, some days we have a good skin day, some days we have a bad skin day. You know, sometimes when I don't go to the gym for like a few days, my skin tends to look better than if I had been going for five days straight or more. So it really depends on your skin. You know, like you could still see a few bumps there, but the face just looks nice and bright in a way. It looks very white. But you know what I mean and yeah, and then this is I believe this is at night This is at night already laying in bed when I already put the cream on and everything you see very shiny very dewy so Will I use these products again? That's a good question. I am not sure if I will Maybe I will buy a travel size again, and if I feel like I just want extra moisture I will use it but incorporating it as using it like consistently, it really depends. I feel like if I lived in a place that made my skin super dry and it was like scabs and you could see a little white things like if you look close to it, then maybe I would use it more often and incorporate it in my skincare routine. But with this Miami weather and this like 
South Florida weather in general and the humidity, I, I don't see myself using this all the time again, at least at the moment. But I'm not gonna say ever again because things happen. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? But I do recommend it. Um, like I've mentioned, if you do have uh, dry skin, it really depends on your skin type, to be honest, and what you like, how your face to like, how you like your face to look. If you like that dewy look, then you know by all means this is for you. If you don't, then it's not for you. But you can always try it. I always recommend buying travel size of products so you can try it and you don't have to waste your money on a full thing. And you know if you don't like it, you have like this full thing there that you have to eventually use or give away because you're not gonna let it go to waste. So. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. I am gonna try to be more consistent in these videos. I know I've been saying that for the last like 20 years, but you know, just bear with me. I will find a way to shoot and edit these videos and put them up on time and just like, you know, just, just be a loyal follower and follow me and you know, get there with me. <laughs> Let me see. I'm delusional. I haven't eaten. Okay, so that's all for today's video. See you guys next time. Bye.